Hi guys, welcome back. Fred here at Math and Engineering. We're going to continue along our uh, numerical analysis series of videos. This is a pretty simple one. This is on linear regression. So linear regression, essentially we are uh, attempting to find uh, the best uh, straight line fit for a group of linear data. So linear relation. So yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. And what you'll be given in this question, okay, and like I just said, we're asked to find the straight line of best fit. Uh, we're given a set of x values, and with those x values, there are y values, okay? And um, we're given two formulas here, and these will give, be given to you on the form uh, on the test, obviously, okay? And essentially, uh, we're trying to find a naught and a sub one, okay? So a naught and a one, those are uh, defined by these two formulas here, and you know all we really have to do is make a table and find what's missing in these. And uh, in these formulas here, plug them in and then get the values. So it's really straightforward, but um, the best thing to do here for sure is to make a table. Okay, so let's go through it. Um, so we're given xi and yi, and then the first thing to do is to look at what variables we need, and then we'll construct the table accordingly. So we have n here, so n is the number of data pairs that we have. We have seven data pairs, so n equals seven, that's good. Uh, what else do we need? Well, we do need, um, if we'll look over here, we're going, we're going to need the summation of xi and the summation of yi, okay, as you can see here. Uh, so those are the summation of these two columns here we're going to need. So on the bottom uh, on the bottom row here, let's just write those in. So we have the summation of xi, and that's 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6 plus 7, so that's 28. Okay, we have the summation of yi here, so 0 0.5 plus 0 0.2, etc. Add these all up, put it down here. This is summation of yi equals, and that's going to be 24. Okay, now what else do we need? Well, as you can see here, we're going to need uh, the summation of yi squared, xi squared. So let's square all the xi's, okay? And then what we can do is we can just summate them at the bottom. So yeah, let's, let's go ahead and start that. So we have 1, 4, 9, 16, 25, okay, 36, 49. Okay, and if we add all of these up, we have the summation of xi squared is equal to 140. What else can we uh, add to our table to make our lives just a little bit easier here? Well, we do need uh, xi, yi here, as we can see, and we're going to need the summation of that. So let's go ahead and multiply xi and yi together for all of these, and then we can go ahead and just summate them all. Okay, and the summation of all of these, summation of xi, yi is equal to 119.5. Cool. So I think we have everything that we need, all right, to go ahead and start filling the formulas in. So let's start with A1. Okay, so A1, we have N, which is 7. Okay, and we have the summation of XI, YI, that's 119.5. Very good. What else do we have here? We're going to have to subtract the summation of XI times the summation of YI. So we have 28 times 24, like this. Very good. And if we divide this whole thing by, we have n again there, times the summation of xi squared, that we have that as 140, right? So now you can really see how useful this table comes into play here. And uh, uh, you can see here, there's a little bit of a trick in this formula. So we have the summation of xi squared. So it's not summation of the xi squareds, it's the summation of all the xi's and then that number squared. Okay, so don't make that mistake there. So that's going to be 28 squared, okay, not 140. Okay, and that value is, if we go ahead and put that into our calculator, is 0 0.839285714. Okay, so take every decimal place that your calculator gives you for this. Okay, next we're going to go ahead and look for a naught. Let's just follow the formula. So we have a summation of yi times summation of xi squared. So that's going to be 24 okay, times the summation of yi squared. So we have 140. Okay. Minus uh, summation of xi, 28. Okay. Summation of xi, yi, that's 119.5. And that's all divided by n, which is 7, as we know, uh, times the summation of xi squared, 140. And the rest is straightforward, as I said before, square the 28 here. Cool, cool. And that is also going to give us a value of. Very good. Now, the last step is simply to go ahead and plug into our formula here, and that is going to give us our best straight line fit. In this course, it's always best to give a little bit of a word answer at the end. We can say, 
the best straight line fit is. Okay, we have y is equal to a naught. Okay, let's start with that. Plus a1. Remember, keeping all the decimal places times x. Okay, and there we go. So that's our final answer. That is the best straight line fit for this particular set of data, and that's how you do uh, linear regression. Thanks for watching, guys.